I would like to give a special nail addict shout out to Queen Miss Chris Seven, uh, April Shorty, Exotica's Empire, and Strawberry Shortcake for being the first four to comment on my last video. Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So guys, I have Madam Glam New York's September Collection House of Change and I'm just getting into this box. Um, they changed it like the last month um, and I love the brown to it. I love the gold. They always do their gold accent. Um, they are vegan cruelty palm oil 21 formula and hema free. Um, these are their socials, but this box is just giving definite autumn uh, fall vibes. I love it. So, so cute. It's just a very nice package here. You can also use this QR code to learn more about recycling the box, but I keep mine. So the collection, of course, comes with eight soak off gels. They also added in a velvet matte top coat a no wipe top coat and a base coat for me and i was super excited because i don't have a base coat by them so that was like the icing on the cake but the first color we're going to jump into is abundance and this for me at first was like a perfect type of a nude shade their bottles even look a little different this time as they're normally 15 milliliter bottles now they are 12 milliliters and this particular collection was made in korea um, and I found that out by going onto the site. So normally when I get my PR packages, I get like a little insert card that tells me about the collection and, um, you know, just everything about the theme for the month. This time, unfortunately, I did not get my insert. So I'm kind of just going off what I saw on the website. But this is such a beautiful shade. So I think this was a collaboration and I'm going to get that name right now. It looks like a collaboration with Crystal's nail scene. Um, and I'll put up a picture of what I saw. But yeah, it's such a beautiful like nude shade that one was. This gorgeous green gel is called Prosperous. And I love it. It's like such a deep, dark green. And definitely giving me vibes of like doing something kind of foresty or leafy with this shade. Like I want to kind of try some things with this one because it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. It's so pretty. Look at how pretty this is. Like such a absolutely gorgeous green this one is here. And this next one is called Virgo. And y'all know I love this one just because it is Virgo season and I am a Virgo. My birthday is September 5th. So coming right around the corner. And I'm just super excited and I'll be blessed just to see another year. I don't have any plans in particular. I uh, plan on just trying to hang out with a friend uh, this weekend. Most of the nights this weekend. But nothing real major. So so hopefully I have lots of fun. The next one is Focus. And these colors are definitely screaming fall, autumn. Like we're in that season um, where we're going to do lots of different fall designs. Um, I don't have anything planned yet for this season. I'm just going to kind of go with the flow. But I love this one. It's like a mustard yellow. Very, very nice. And this is just one coat. The next one is called Magnetic. And this one is such a beautiful. Like, I love this shade of orange. Just kind of like a burnt orange type of vibe. I love it. I think it's just such a gorgeous shade. And it just works for all skin tones. This one here is such an absolute beautiful, beautiful shade. Now, one thing I noticed about the gels this month is the consistency is a lot different. So, it's not a one coat coverage situation at this point. It is definitely two coats needed but it's still really nice i just found it to be more on the thinner side this month and y'all excuse all that linties i don't know where they were coming from but they were there <laughs> and i tried to put like a thicker layer on just to kind of see if i could get that one coat coverage that we know and love from madam glam and yeah it just wasn't giving the one coat coverage but again they're still so beautiful uh all of the colors 
just the consistency is a bit different and if you were to cop some you would see exactly what i mean when i say the consistency is different so now we're getting into the glittery one so moon dust is like a silvery glittery um gel and this one is gorgeous like this was my favorite out of the glitter gel so it came with four solid colors and or excuse me five solid colors i believe and then the three uh glitter gels really really pretty um so normally when i put on glitter i kind of dab it um and i decided to paint today just to kind of see and it came out pretty nice the next glitter shade is high vibrancy excuse me high vibration and as always i love the names that madam glams they come up with with the polishes just real unique and cool i love products that have names it just makes them all the more better and this one is like a darker like a like kind of like a black glitter i would say but it's really really nice i love the rainbow effect in it really really pretty under flash or light and then the last one here is night on mars and this one is also really pretty it's a brown glittery gel with like the rainbow reflexes in it really really nice look at that this like really nice and so for these i did one coat of everything on camera and then i did a second coat well i believe with the glitters i did three coats but i did the other two off camera obviously to save time and then i'll be able to show that in just a moment but this is gorgeous and these are the first five shades that are solid shades really really pretty I love them absolutely gorgeous absolutely to die for um, and then these are the three glitters if you're interested in any of these I will have everything linked down below with my discount code which has been going across the screen as well as always thank you so much Madam Glam for being so wonderful to me and let's jump into the set so I decided to leave in prep for this video just to kind of show the proper way to prep your nails. So you want to take a cuticle pusher and push back your cuticles like so. And you want to do that gently. You don't have to use much pressure. Your skin should go just back like you need it um, to get in there and get that dead skin off because that's super important um, for like the adherence of the nails when you're doing the gel X. So I'm going around the cuticle with my mandrill and I find... Uh, sanding band and roughing up the surface of my natural nails so that I'm able to have something for the product to actually hold on to. Going around the cuticle, I'm actually removing any of the dead skin that's there uh, because if you have dead skin and things there, it does cause lifting. So you want to make sure you're doing that. I'm going in at about four RPMs. I normally do it at about that speed every time. And as you can see, all the white flakies coming up, that's that dead skin and it comes off really, really nice. And this is just so therapeutic and soothing to see all of that dead skin get lifted off of the cuticle and the nail. I really, really love this portion of prep. So then I dust everything off and now I'm going in with some dehydrator. You can use whatever dehydrator you choose. I like to use McCart's dehydrator. It smells wonderful. It smells like watermelon. Well, they've been doing some changes, so I'm not sure if they all have the same one. Um, but this one was really nice when they came out with this particular um, dehydrator. And then I go in with my Young Nails Protein Bond. And I found that if you scrub it into your nail like I'm doing here, it does a better effect. Um, if I was keeping these on for two plus weeks, I would do two coats of the Young Nails Protein Bond. But because I'm just going to keep them on a week, I do the one coat and it does help uh, for them to adhere and stay. I'm going in with my Savilan 6-in-1 nail glue glue gel uh, so that I'm able to apply my gel X nails. And normally when you have your tips and they're not etched, you want to take either your uh, e-file or a file and etch the inside like I'm doing now. Or some primer would work as well to etch the inside so that they adhere better to the nails. I only did the one because I just wanted to kind of show how you would do that. And then the rest of my nails, I didn't etch them, but they did last me a week. So it's kind of up to you. And just as long as you're doing really good prep, I feel like this step is not always necessary because I've done so many sets where I really didn't etch it. And they stayed on and were hard to get off. So 
I mean, you can or you can't. I think it does better if you do, but I don't feel like it's always necessary with good prep. So now I'm going in and I normally put the six in one nail glue on my natural nail first and leave that wet. And then I put some into the nail tip where my natural nail will be. And I go in at a 45 degree angle on the nail and I apply it and watch the gel rise up onto the nail from cuticle to free edge making sure there are no bubbles in it whatsoever because bubbles can also cause lifting as well so i just place it on very gently at a 45 degree angle and you can see that gel just rise up and then i flash cure for about 10 seconds before moving on to the next nail and i do repeat the same exact step over all of my other nails as well as far as putting a little on my nail and then like some into the nail well and then flash curing it for about 10 seconds and it's set ready to go. Once I get all of the nails fully applied, I then go in and do a full 30 second cure in my lamp so that they are nice and secure onto the nail. I hope that everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you may be. And thank you so much to all of you who do take your time to watch my videos. I appreciate y'all so, so much. To anyone that is new to the channel, welcome to the Nail Attic family. And thank you so, so much for joining my uh, family. It is an honor to have you. And just make sure to comment down below and let me know you're here. So I'm able to give you a nice warm welcome because I do love to interact with you all. And if you've been subscribed, y'all already know what time it is. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys so, so much, and I'm so thankful for you all. So this is how the nails look after just being applied and they look pretty nice. I like them. These nails I'm using actually are my Wellquin nail tips that I got off Amazon if anybody was wondering and I do always have everything linked down below. But once I get them fully applied, I'm now going in again with my mandrill and a fine grit sanding band and I am going around the cuticle to just pull up any of the spillage that may have happened with that glue gel while I was applying the gel X and also to make it more flushed to the cuticle area as well. Um, this is a step that I always do when I am keeping the nails on. It just makes the nails look a lot more better when you take your time and do this extra step here to make them look a bit more flushed. Then I go in with my nail bu uh, buffer and just buff the shine off of all the nails. For me, I feel like it's better for like when you go in with your nail or, or just the gel polish itself. It adheres a lot better with that shine taken off of the nail. So I do make sure to do this over all of my nails each time before starting in with a Gelex method design. So we just had a hurricane here in Florida, Hurricane Adelia. Well, not the, the full Florida, but where I am. And I'm thankful to say that we came out of it just fine. Um, it The power went out like a few times or whatever. So I had to stop working because I work from home. So we still had to work and my power went out a few times. And I ended up just giving up for the day because it kept going in and out, in and out, in and out. And thankfully, they paid me for the day, obviously, because there was a hurricane. There's nothing I can do. Um, but the hurricane was chill. It was chill. Like, I literally was on my porch most of the morning watching what was going on. And it, it really wasn't much in my area. And I'm very thankful and grateful for that. And my heart goes out to all of the families that did have it, like, straight forward. And it was, like, really, really bad. I like my prayers go out to you guys because I was really praying and hoping that we didn't get it like that. Um, they always make me so nervous hurricanes because you just never know. 
Um, and this one was really, really strong. It was very historic, this particular hurricane was. Um, so I'm just really grateful and thankful that everyone my way was okay. And again, my hearts go out to all of those families that are dealing with losses or anything due to Hurricane Adalia. Um, my prayers are always going to be with you guys. So I went ahead and applied some base coat onto the nails and cured. Um, now I'm going in with Dreamer, which is my absolute favorite nail polish, gel polish from Madame Glam. It's a great nude base. And I'm going in with that over all of the nails and then i'm going to give that a 30 second cure off camera i do a second coat and cure that as well y'all i was frustrated when i watched this back because i was so out of frame on a lot of areas and it was just because i was frustrated with my nails like i did a whole set with the house of change collection and i did not like it so i ended up filing everything down on these same nails and just this is where i'm starting the design over again and i did a complete set the reason i didn't like the first set was because i was trying to incorporate like sweater designs but i also wanted to use the glitter and i did not want the glitter glitter to be matte i wanted the glitter obviously to have its original shine but it just wasn't working out and i don't really like sweater nails in a glossy top coat uh so yeah i just scratched everything and started over again so some of the nails might look a little wonky or whatever like i know my pinky for sure and it's just because i literally filed a whole design off and went back in to create the design that we're about to see now and it came out okay it came out okay i wish i could have did the other one and i am gonna to come back to it with different shades and just not use the glitter um, because obviously if I'm using glitter I want it to shine so for this set I'm just doing random things I don't know I decided to use prosperous moon dust and uh, I used um hold on <laughs> It was focus y'all i used focus which was that yellow shade so normally when i get these type of prs i like to try to use everything in a set but lately with madame glam i've been doing two sets back to back for them so for instance i'm gonna do this one here just introducing the particular uh, collection and then my next video that i upload tomorrow which is saturday will be my second um, half so like whatever gel polishes I didn't use in this one I'm gonna try and use in the next one and I may not get to them all but I'll always incorporate them because if you've been tuned into the channel y'all know the main gel polish that I use unless I'm doing PR is Madame Glam I just feel like it's such a great um, set of gels uh, I have so many different colors that like when I'm thinking of a design and like there's a color that pops in mind and I know I have it in a Madame Glam shade I'm definitely gonna go with Madame Glam every time I don't ever have problems with the gels I just love them so much so I use them quite a lot in a lot of my videos so after I put the little green from Prosperous around the sides I'm going in and making dots right on the edge of that with both focus and moon dust just to accentuate it a bit and also just to add those shades in as well again this set was pretty random but I liked how it came out overall I had to skip my index because I was totally out of frame like you could not see anything I was doing so I went ahead and took it completely out of the video because at that point it didn't make sense to show something you can't see and again, I was at a high frustration level at this point, so that's why I was a little bit out of frame. But I do need to get back into the habit of having like my selfie diamond, excuse me, selfie, <laughs> my Nelfi diamond there. Like I have like two of those I use. I have a couple of other things that I can use like to rest my hand on while I'm doing my nails and I was very faithful with using them because it just helped me be centered into my camera at all times and with my hand on whatever I'm using at that time I know that I'm actually recording everything and it just makes everything so much better so I definitely need to get back into the habit of using them because it's just going to make for better videos so that you're able to kind of see everything that I'm doing 
but again just randomly placing these colors on my nail and i feel like all three of these colors went together very very well i had so many thoughts going through my head so many things i wanted to do so many things i wanted to try but i opted to go with this and i did end up wearing it for the week um and i liked it like i started growing more in love with it the more i wore it you know how when you wear something and you like constantly look at it so like the more i would look at this design the more i would fall in love with it because again everything to me meshed very well it looked really classy really nice and i'm more of a classy girl i really kind of like more classy things versus the wild well i do like wild so let me stop lying I like wild too, but I, I do kind of gravitate a little bit more towards classy just because I do a lot of things where I might have to be in front of a professional and not saying that you can't be professional with like really loud, gorgeous nails. I just feel it's more fitting to kind of have something that it can be loud but it can also be toned down so like these to me were really nice and classy but they also were a little loud as well because of the pop of glitter in them um you know the rhinestones i placed there were certain things in this nail set that could make it kind of out there but compared to the next set that i'm gonna do this was a lot more toned down um and yeah i'll let you be the judge I, like always i normally like to do both of my hands and then show you both that i wore for the week and then you pick your favorite but uh i will say i'm gonna go ahead and say this was my favorite the other one was very nice as well but just the colors and this one meshed together very very well and i'm just finishing up here with my pinky just using the three colors again very randomly on the nail and in between each of the nails i do like a, at least a 15 second here um just to kind of get everything frozen into place now i also do always leave the tip with madam glam to always fully cure because in the past with certain colors or the thickness of the product that you're adding to your nail it will ripple so if you were to do like a 10 10 second cure and you have like a thick layer of the gel on there and you took your finger out to do something else after that 10 second cure nine times out of ten it's going to ripple so unless you have a really really strong lamp you want to do that full 60 second cure so that you're getting the most out of it and there's no rippling i always do 30 second cures just because it works for me i never have a problem when i'm doing a 30 second cure but it is always recommended that you do 60 seconds so when applying the gel make sure you're doing your 60 second cures and then now i'm just finishing up with my thumb with those three different shades just adhering them to the nail and i loved how everything came together So with my rhinestone placement, I did have to cut out quite a bit just because, again, I was out of frame. But it was just real random. I just did a placement that I felt would go very well. I used my AB rhinestones because I felt like they went really well with the moon dust, that glitter shade. Um, and it just came out really, really pretty. Um, in between each of the fingers, well, I did two fingers at a time. So I did my index in my middle together. I didn't show my index again because I was very out of frame, but I did these two together. Then I did a full 30 second cure to make sure everything stayed into place. And then I went on from there. So I think I'm just gonna show you like the bottom portion of my middle, the bottom portion of my ring, and then my pinky um, with the rhinestone placement on this nail set.
So I've been loving this Nourish Me and you literally only need like a very small amount. So like the amount I took out here was perfect and I just take it and like rub it into my hand, my skin, my cuticles and it just stays very well. It lasts for quite a while. It smells amazing. It has aloe and cucumber in it. It smells absolutely wonderful. Um, this is a new product that came out about two months ago with them as well but it just does the job. And here is the finished set. I love it. For me, it's the pop that comes with Moon Dust. Although I used it ever so slightly, I do like how it was popping out on that nail. Very, very nice. But comment down below and let me know what you think of this nail set. And if you've made it this far, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. I thank you all for joining me today and I hope to see you in my next one. Remember to be the best you that you can be. And much love to you all.